Shepherd. Remember when you were a puppy? One puppy, two puppy, on a puppy bed. The littlest one has fur that's I'm red. kind of new, so I'll stick with you. I like new places, seeing lots of new faces. And before this day's through, we'll make good friends like you. dirt and twigs. <gasps> that pretty pink bubblegum wrapper and those gorgeous green and orange pipe cleaners. Oh, I love that nest. It's perfect. Correction. It was perfect because now it's gone. Oh, oh where is it? Get a hold of yourself, Norville. Ah! The wind probably just blew it out of the tree. Uh, yeah, of course. Of course, the wind. Oh, Daffodoodle. You are a genius. Okay, so where is it? It's gotta be around somewhere. Aw, oh, don't worry, Norval. We'll find it. Sure. Come on, everyone! Ah! <laughs> oh, I found it! I found it! Norville's nest? No, my squeaky hat dog! <laughs> Boy, I've been looking all over for you. <sighs> Do you think it could be in here? There's only one way to find out. Whee! Uh. <laughs> that was fun. Let's look again. <gasps> Oh, thank you, Clifford. The wind keeps blowing it off. Where is it? Where can it be? Oh, where is it? Sorry, Norville. Yeah, we looked everywhere. Twice. But no nest. Oh, thanks for trying. But if it's not here, it could be anywhere. Oh, I've got to hit the sky and search every inch of this city. I mean, top to bottom. I mean, side to side. I've just got to find my nest. I've just got to! Oh, poor Norville. I've never seen him so upset. I wish there was something we could do for him. What if he doesn't ever find his nest at all? Oh, that'd be awful. Wait a minute. I got a big idea. Since we can't find his old nest, why don't we build him a new one? Hey, yeah! buddy, that's a great idea. And if we hurry, we can finish it before he gets back. Huh? Yeah! <laughs> okay, troops, here's the plan. We're going to need twigs and dirt. And how about it? And little things to mash in with it. Clifford, you dig for the dirt. Daffodil will be your partner. Yeah, one problem. I don't do dirt. Oh, so you two go get little bits of string, yarn, paper, whatever you can find. Got it? Wait, I have a question. Didn't you hear me? Go, go, go! We're going. Okay, okay. And exactly what are you going to do? I'll be gathering twigs. 
<laughs> the easy job. <sighs> Clifford, I think that's enough. Oh, <laughs> that dirt doesn't count. The really great dirt is down deep. Listen, Clifford, it's sweet that you're trying so hard, but this whole plan is a big mess. I don't know what Jorge was thinking, giving the smallest puppy the biggest job. Oh, I don't mind. And putting the kittens in charge of yarn and bits? Big mistake. Why? Rubber band. <gasps> it's perfect. To, to play, play with. with. about this plan that's never going to work. What? Aren't you done yet? <sighs> Almost. <sighs> we sure got some great dirt, though. Good going, soldier. Now take it to Norville's tree. Whoa. Carry all the dirt all the way over there? Well, all the way over there's where we're going to build the nest. Then you should have told us to dig by the tree in the first place. What a confusing plan. Oh, Daffodil, it's okay. Hey, my plan makes perfect sense. Hmm, let's see. We've got dirt over here, twigs over there, and nothing from the kittens. Was that part of your plan? Oh, it's okay. Flo and Zoe are probably on their way here right now. Don't worry, I'll go get them. <laughs> Flo, Zoe? What are you doing? Collecting stuff! Like Jorge said. Yeah, um, I think you're supposed to bring it to Norval's tree. Okay, we'll be right there. Oh, thanks. Hey, Zo. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I came up with a plan. And who made you the boss? Jorge? Daffodil, the kittens are here. And look at all the great stuff we found. Ooh. Ooh. See, the plan is working great. Ooh, I know what we can do with this lid. Uh, uh oh no, that's not for the nest. We're keeping that. Oh, and we're keeping that too. And that. But, uh, Flo, Zoe, what did you collect for Norval's nest? This? See, I knew they'd do some sort of kitten thing. Like what? What's that mean? It's better if they don't do anything at all. You mean, like you? What do you mean by that? You know what I mean. Yeah, we brought stuff. Yeah, we sure did. Uh, yeah, yeah, we brought stuff. Guys, 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 Remember Norville, the friend we're supposed to be building a nest for? He's gonna be back soon, and we still don't have a nest for him. He, he's right, guys. We haven't built anything. We don't even have anything to build a nest with. I guess we kind of forgot that we were supposed to be helping Norville. All we did was think about ourselves. Listen, everybody, I, I'm sorry for taking over and not listening to anyone else's ideas. And I'm sorry, too. All I did was criticize Jorge's plan when I really should have been helping. We're sorry for trying to keep all of the stuff we found for ourselves. We want to give it all to Norville's new nest. Because he really needs it more than we do. Oh, great! You know, maybe if we started working together as a real team, we can still build the nest in time. I bet we can! Let's right. do it! Well, then what are we waiting for? Okay, everyone, let's get going. First, uh, does anyone have any suggestions? Where is it? Where can it be? Oh, where is it? I think we're ready for some dirt here. I'm in Don't forget to use this. 
This is looking good. Can I have another piece of yarn, please? Beautiful, beautiful mist, it's gone! Here comes Norville. You know, I looked everywhere. I mean, every nook and cranny of this city, but I couldn't find my nest. Norville. My beautiful nest. Did I ever tell you how perfect it was? Norville. Why, I know that some people would say, well, you know, it's just sticks and mud. Norville. But oh, it was so much more than that. Norville. What? Huh? It's for you. We built it together. We know it's not nearly as fancy as your old nest, but we really worked hard together to make it special. Uh, of course, you don't have to live there if you don't want to. Are you kidding? My furry friends work together to make a nest just because they care? About me? Oh, to have a nest built with love? Oh, that is the best nest of all. Oh, this feels just right. Oh, yes, it tickles my tummy. Aww. Toys. It was a great morning because Speckle and his friends had gotten together to play. But soon they realized that none of them had brought a game or a toy to play with. They wondered, what were they going to do? Until Speckle said they could use their imaginations and make their own toys. That was a great idea, and off they went to see what toys they could create. Reba was so inspired, she went right out and gathered acorns, just the right size for a game of jacks. Working together, Darnell and Luna made an extra long daisy chain to use as a jump rope. Then Robbie and Speckle found that a soft plastic lid was perfect for throwing through the air like a flying disc. Now, the gang had a brand new question. Which wonderful homemade toy should they play with first? The end. I love reading stories together. You know, Clifford, for such a small dog, you sure are a big reader. Practice makes perfect. And with their exploring at an end, Flo and Zoe decided that their favorite place was still home. And that's the story of Flo and Zoe on the go. <laughs> Thank you. Now, if any of you are hungry, I saw a table full of juice and cookies right over there. Okay. Well, thanks for helping, Emily Elizabeth. It was fun. I love your book. These pictures look exactly like Flo and Zoe. You're such a great artist. Do you like to paint and draw? I sure do. Then you should come by my studio. We can paint together. Really? That would be great. Why don't you come tomorrow after lunch and bring Clifford? I think he'd be an excellent model, don't you? Absolutely. Hi, Mr. Solomon. Oh, hi there. Ready to paint? All set. See you later, Mom. Have a good time, honey. Emily Elizabeth, Clifford, welcome to the studio. It's amazing. Come on, let's get you set up. I keep the paintbrushes over here. <laughs> you 
guys. Hey, Clifford. Welcome to the studio. Oh, thanks. I can't wait. Emily Elizabeth is going to paint a picture of me. That's great. Want us to show you around? Oh, sure. This is where you'll be when she paints your picture. Remember, if you're going to be a model, you have to be perfectly still, like this. Right. Perfectly still. <laughs> Don't worry. It takes practice, Clifford. These pictures are for our new book, Flo and Zoe in the Snow. Oh, wow. They're great. This is all painting equipment. Emily Elizabeth is going to need a big tube of red paint for your picture, Clifford. <laughs> I guess so. The canvases are our favorites. They're nice and bouncy. Whee! <laughs> Clifford, your paws are covered in paint. <laughs> Looks like someone couldn't wait to get started. Now try holding your brush a little looser. Relax your hand a little bit. I like those colors. You're right. That does feel a lot better. You're doing a terrific job. Thanks. <laughs> but it'd be easier to paint if my model didn't move quite so much. <laughs> Clifford, your tail! I think we'd better finish up for the day. It's getting a little late. We can work some more tomorrow. <laughs> Hey, Jorge and I were just looking for you two. Oh, we were at Mr. Solomon's studio. Uh, look at the beautiful picture Emily Elizabeth painted. Wow, it's really great. Well, I have a great teacher. It sounds like you guys had a lot of fun. Why don't you join us tomorrow, Nina? Oh, I'd love to. Thanks. And don't forget to bring Jorge. We can always use another model. <laughs> I told you it was cool. So, uh, what do you want to do? Paint, sketch, draw? Oh, can we do all of them? <laughs> Why not? Come on, let's get you started. Clifford can tell you, Jorge, modeling isn't as easy as it looks. Yeah, the trick is to stay perfectly still. Why don't you give it a try? Okay, how's this? <laughs> That's amazing, Jorge. Oh, thanks. Uh, can I move now? Oh, sure. You know, I think I'm going to be really good at this. You're both doing great. Uh, why don't you try a little darker brown in Jorge's tail? Thanks, Mr. Solomon. Oh, that looks much better. This is really fun. I think Clifford and Jorge are having fun being models, too. <laughs> Just let the brush gently follow the line, like... I get it. That's really good, Emily Elizabeth. Thanks. Uh, Nina? Is Jorge okay? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he had an itch. It's okay, Jorge. You can scratch whenever you need to. Wow, that's beautiful, Nina. Oh, you think so? Absolutely. Don't you, Mr. Solomon? Mmm, she's right, Nina. It's very good. In fact, all of your pictures have been great. You're a terrific artist, Nina. A lot better than I am. Oh, I think both of you are doing an excellent job. And look at the drawings you did of Clifford and Jorge. It's terrific. Thanks. You know, we should probably call it a day. OK. I'm sure the dogs could use a break, too. Come on, boys. Time to go. Now just let the brush move gently. <sighs> No use. I just can't paint as well as Nina and Mr. Solomon. 
Who is it? Nina and Jorge. Come on in. Hi, I'm Lee Elizabeth. Ready to go to Mr. Solomon's studio for our next lesson? Um, not really. I don't think it's for me. What are you talking about? Well, everyone's good at different things, and art just isn't one of the things that I'm good at. Hey, that's not true. I love your pictures. Well, they're okay, but yours are really good. You should keep going to Mr. Solomon's. But I like doing it with you. Well, we can still do plenty of other stuff together. Please tell Mr. Solomon I really appreciated him helping me. Oh, and you were in the middle of painting that great picture of all the animals. So it's fine if you'd like to take Clifford with you. Clifford! Ruff, ruff, ruff. But are you sure you don't want to go? I'm positive. All right, then. I'll just take Clifford and Jorge. And so she said that art wasn't her thing. She doesn't want to come anymore. Mm, well, I can talk to her about it later. For now, let's get some more oil paints for your picture. Mm, okay. Oh, I love playing hide and seek. Oh, me too, buddy. I bet Flo and Zoe are hiding right here. Ha-ha! <laughs> huh? You're getting warmer! Uh, uh, oops. Is everyone okay? <laughs> Well, it looks like our models were just blowing off a little steam. <laughs> Let's get this picked up. Oh, what's this? It's one of my first sketchbooks. I had it when I was about your age. And Emily Elizabeth's. Ruff, ruff. Clifford, Nina must be back from her lesson. Hi, Mr. Solomon. Hi, Emily Elizabeth. I told Nina I'd bring Clifford home. Um, can I come in for a moment? Sure. I just wanted to give you these pictures you left at the studio. Oh, thanks, but I really don't want them. They're not very good. Not like Nina's. I happen to think they are good, but I understand if you don't want to take any more lessons. It was really nice of you to offer, though. Thanks. Oh, and I wanted to show you this. It's the sketchbook I used when I was about your age. Wow. They're... uh... <laughs> uh... They're not very good, are they? Oh, well, it's just... It's okay. I thought they were bad, too. In fact, I was so frustrated that I quit drawing completely, even though I loved it. You did? Mm, that's right, I did. But then my mother said that the only way I could ever get better was if I kept practicing. So that's what I did. I practiced and practiced. I'm sure glad you did. I love your picture books. Well, I'm glad, Emily Elizabeth. I wonder what would happen if you kept on practicing. I don't know. I guess we could find out if I kept coming for lessons. Would that be okay? Same time tomorrow. Same time. Very nice, both of you. <laughs> it sure helps if the models are staying so still. Yes, I guess all their practicing really paid off. <laughs> <laughs> Do. 
Sometimes a job can look so big it seems almost impossible to do. But Clifford and I know that no job is too big when everyone works together. I have a big idea. I'll bet if we all pitch in and work together, we can clean this up in no time. When everyone works together, big jobs can turn out to be really small. That's why Clifford's idea to grow on for today is work together. And guess what? Now we have time for another game of tag!